Hi. Today I want to check out one way to get the uh, punchy uh, dynamic uh, drum tone, uh, even if you're just using one microphone and, and, and you're putting it at the other end of the room. You know, in the mid-70s, uh, the, the, the rock sound, for instance, Led Zeppelin, was very ambient. Uh, the, the drums sounded very organic, uh, like you would hear them in the room. Uh, the downside uh, is that you get less, le a sound that is less punchy since you're further away from the drums and you, you, you get lots of reflections from the wall and so on which muddies out the tone. Uh, and uh, since you're further away from the drums you lose out on, on some of the very lows and, and, and very highs. But, but today I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to uh, get a sound that, is, that sounds like a, a very natural sounding drum kit. Uh, and at the same time, it's as punchy as possible. And, and, and to do that, uh, I, I, I used drums that are as big and loud as possible and hit them as hard as I can. Um, I'm using a microphone that is very directional, so, so I minimize the, uh, the amount of, of, of reflections from the walls. Uh, and I use a room that is, that is uh, fairly dead. Then I can place the mic at the very uh, for distance and, and, and still get the sound, sound that is punchy enough, I think. Uh, I'm going I'm to do this and I'm going to compare it with the three other typical recording techniques, like for instance, Chad Blake and, 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 and uh, another technique where, where you uh, re record from above. Uh, and the third uh, alternative technique is, is, is the one that I usually use here on the channel. Uh, so, check it out. And, and tell me what you think. Cheers.